Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm pretty good. Thanks for that. Thanks for asking. You know, doing great. Ready to start our classes. And also with a different topic to share today. So welcome, guys, for being here in this class. Also, we always try to enjoy and have a good time in the class. And the best way to practice English is by this mean. Okay, so welcome you all. I hope that we will have a good time in our classes. And also, we will be ready to practice English. And before that we start the class, I just want to ask you guys, what do you remember we started yesterday? What topic do you remember we socialized? Help me that, please. Help me with that. How do you so to native in native? Mm -hmm. Give me more details. Give me more ideas about it. Do you want an example? Yeah, of course. I am like the China food. So am I. Um, so do I. I like Chinese food. So do I. Okay, yo dije I am like. No sé si se puede. No, I like. Okay. Yes, I like. Yes, uh, especially some kind of food. Okay, so let's introduce the class today. And also we have this uh, video conference. And uh, who wants to help me to read the topic? What's the topic? Who wants to read the general objective? I need a volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as, such as so to, neither, and either we be introduced. Exactly. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's see something very valuable about this section. So we're gonna be developing some exercises um, also in using eater and neater. Do you remember this topic? Yes, teacher. Yes, we will have a short backup because we need to make sure that we are using the appropriate grammar structure for this conversation. As we were saying yesterday in the, in the talk and we will say, I like Japanese food a lot. And you answer, so do I, because we're using the uh, general verb. So do I, or I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. So you had to select and, you know, the best answer. I like Japanese food. You usted responde, hey, so do, so do I, yo también. I like it too. And I'm crazy about desert. I'm crazy about desert. Hey, so am I. Or I am too. Or mm, I'm not because you don't like it. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. Or I can too. So that's mean that you can do too that. You can eat spicy food too. And we use the main verb as part of the response. If the person uses a general verb, we will use so do I or I do too. If the person is using the verb be, we will respond uh, so am I or I am too. If the person is using can, we, we use uh, so can I or I can too. But what happened if we use this statement in the negative form? in a negative form. So we have to use neither and either. Example, I don't like greasy food. Hey, neither do I. 
or I don't either. Oh, in the opposite, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food, neither am I, or I'm not either. Really? And also you can see that. I can't stand fast food, neither can I, or I can neither. So those structures are very common in English because uh, people use it in the real conversations to say that we like some things or we don't like. We will see um, some exercises that can help us and to, you know, to work in this part. So I will share with you some examples. And let me open a, a presentation for you because we will use another example here. Um, we understand that we agree or disagree with some things when we are in a conversation. And one example is that, that we can agree or disagree. Oh, so do I, or I do too. Oh, so am I, or oh, I, I am too. Okay, let, let me show you the presentation. Okay, I think that I have it here. Can you see the presentation, students? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Um, les he, le he hecho una, una modificación por aquí. Le he hecho una pequeña modificación. Para que, pues, usted la pueda también hacer. Let's see here this one. I have made an, a modification in this statement. And let's see. Okay, I think it's much better now. Okay, let's see the presentation. And okay, who wants to help me to read the instruction? I need a volunteer, please help me to read it. Imagine a uh, volunteer. Hello. Me teacher. Thank you. Imagine you're having a conversation with Jenny. What she say is also, is also true for you. Right. So I or neither I. Show seen the correct auxiliary there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So you can appreciate that, well, we are in a conversation and uh, you had to uh, select the best answer for each one. I can play the piano. So you will give a response, okay? So you had a freedom to select the best answer for you. For example, um, I can't play the piano. Uh, Gisela, Imperatrice, how would you answer it? The number one, how will you respond to this statement? Uh, neither can I. Excellent. Or what is the other uh, option? Seria, I, I can. can can either. Excellent. Congratulations. So you had to give the possible answer for each statement. So I will give you um, some minutes to respond this part and also uh, check that part, okay? Así que lo vamos a, a responder en este momento y luego socializamos las respuestas. Let's go. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. You are freedom to ask questions. Tiene preguntas, pues me dicen. Let's go. Disculpe cuando el auxiliar esté en pasado. Eh, en la respuesta se va a poner en pasado el auxiliar también. Sí, en este caso, como este no lo hemos visto, pero lo pusimos aquí como una referencia. Eh, cuando es en pasado, pues usted va a ocupar el did o el didn't. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome.
Okay, let's check the answers together. Ready? Yes, no yet? Not, not right. Tell me, tell me. It's okay or you need more time? It's okay. I need more time, teacher. You need more time. Okay, I will give you a couple of minutes more and then we will uh, socialize the answers together because that's important to have a feedback of the exercises that we are developing. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. So let's compare the answers right now. And you will help me with this part, the first one, and let's see what happened here. We will use the chat, so the chat will help us to, and to compare the answers. Look at the number one. What two possible choices we have to, to respond. Uh, I can play the piano. Number one. Mm, so can I. But neither can I, neither can I. Yeah, neither can I. I, I can I. Do. Exactly. So let me, um, neither can I, or I can't, I can either. Oh. Yes, like this. Look at the chat. We will be updating the answers. Okay, excellent. Number two, Catherine is English. So am I, or am I two? Oh, I am two, perdón. I am, I am two. two. <laughs> okay, good, it's okay. So, so am I, or I am two. Excellent, so we have the number two. And um, because she's English, and I am English too. You, you will say, so am I. 
Okay, number three. And well, she isn't coming to the party. Neither am I. Neither am I. Oh, I'm not either. I'm not either. Okay, so you can see the number three. Great job. The possible answer is so neither am I or I'm not either. We have the two possible choices here. So um, can you see can you see the chat? Can you see the chat the, to check the answers? So in the chat we are comparing the answers together here. Si tiene una pregunta, pues la puede hacer. No se preocupe. As as question, you know, and I'm here to help you. Así que me hace la pregunta, pues si tiene la pregunta. Okay, number four. Lucy will come early tomorrow. So am I. Okay. Mm, so will I. Mm. Eso. Si ustedes se fijan, eh, la, las estructuras, nosotros tenemos que enfocarnos en los verbos. Entonces, eh, como en este caso el auxiliar es will, Entonces decimos, so will I. Este no lo hemos visto, pero así también como, como lo que hemos visto, también está en el pasado, también está el will, también está el presente perfecto. Entonces, estos, el enfoque siempre va a ser lo mismo, la, la estructura la misma. Eh, so will I, o I will too. Entonces, es la misma estructura. Pero para, en este caso, will es para referirnos al futuro. Cuando hablamos de que yo también lo haré. Ah, este, Lucy vendrá mañana temprano. Eh, hey, yo también. Entonces, so will I. O oh, I will too. Okay, number five. I have to study this weekend. So do I. Oh, I do too. Okay, so do I. Or I do too. Es decir... Um, tengo que estudiar este fin de semana. Hey, yo también. So do I. O oh, I do too. Que viene siendo lo mismo. Okay. So we have the best choice for this. <laughs> okay. Number six. Dan lives in Madrid. Dan lives in Madrid. What is so that's she? So that's she? Um, you want to add, eh, por ejemplo, para decir ella? So, so, so that's she? So that she podría ser para referirnos a otra persona, right? Si fuera, por ejemplo, para referirnos a ella. So that she then lives in Madrid. Hey, ella también. Y si yo quiero decir que también, él también, ¿cómo sería? He does too. Eh, so does he. So does he. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also. Okay, look at the possible answers. So does she. So does he. She does too. He does too. For the number six, para ir cambiando de pronombres, para referirnos a otra persona. La siete dice, she doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Si yo quiero decir que, por ejemplo, que él tampoco, ¿cómo sería? Eh, she doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Pero él tampoco, ¿cómo sería acá? Neither does she. Uh, he. Ah, go he. Neither does he. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Entonces, la respuesta sería, eh, ella no tiene hermanos y hermanas, pero él tampoco tiene. Entonces, para decir eso, yo digo... Um, neither does he or he doesn't either. Two possible choices for that part. 
Vamos con el número 8. Number 8. Look at this. I love Mexico. So do I. Okay, so do I. Or I do too. I do too. So do I or I do too. Yes. Number nine. Uh, I'm going home now. So am I. Or my two. Exactly. Great job. So you, you got it. And the last one, I passed the test or I passed the exam. So do I. So do I. Why do two? Why do two, right? Entonces vamos viendo cómo podemos responder para decir que yo también lo hago o no lo hago utilizando la estructura. Eh, vamos a hacer otra práctica. We will work with, with some other exercises. So you can also um, compare your answers. So in the chat, we have uh, this exercise. So let's see here. Sorry. And we will move to the next part. This one. One second. So do I, neither do I. Okay, vamos a ver. Tengo acá otros, otros ejemplos que nos pueden servir para que usted pueda responder. So, one second. Usted me va la respuesta. You will give me the answer. So, I will work at that and you will give me the answers. Let me see but I need to um, share something here for the class. Um, ¿Cómo ven el tema? ¿Está accesible? Is this topic accessible? Hello? I get it. Is it easy or difficult? Or is It's easy. Mm. Vamos a ver. Um, please, the microphone. Por ahí creo. Okay. You will help me to respond this one. I don't like pasta. And what possible answers can we think of? I don't like pasta. Native don't like. Uh, neither. Neither do I. Neither do I, okay. And I love pupusas. So do I. Okay. Oh, so do I. I can play the guitar. I can too. I can too. Or so can I. Okay, so look at this. Move, move, move here. Okay, I'm interested in Mexican food. Look at this. I am so. Too. So? Am I? Okay, so am I. Oh, I am too. So am I, or I am too. And I cook pizza. So do I. So do I, so do I or I do too. Okay. Yes. Two possible choices. Great job. Separated. And I can draw. I can, I can draw. So can I. And I can, and I can too. 
And uh, I am not good for pasta. I'm not eater. Mm -hmm. I'm not eater. I'm not eater. You say, um, I'm not eater. Okay, and also you can see the example. I'm not eater. Okay, and let's see the next about vegetables. Look at this. Um, I, I don't like vegetables. I don't either. I don't. Okay, let's see. I don't eat her. Okay, so I don't like vegetables. I don't eat her. Um, oh, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. So we can see here the answer about this. Easy or difficult? Easy? Easy, right? So it's pretty easy. So in a real conversation, we had an opportunity to, you know, respond when we are having a conversation and we agree or disagree about something that we can use um, this structure. Okay, the following exercise that we will develop here in the class is it's we are going to be working in a small groups. What you had to do, you had to read the statements and you have to give a response for each one. So this is going to be a spoken. So that's mean that you will speak in, in the class. Así que vamos a formar unos pequeños grupos. Vamos a formar unos pequeños breakout rooms. Y usted va a compartir con sus compañeros. Cada, le va a dar respuesta a cada uno. Por ejemplo, you could say, let's see. You could say, for example, Claudia, number one, what do you respond for the number one? Maria Elena, respond in number two. How do you respond in number two? Um, Oscar Antonio, how do you respond in number three? And William, how do you respond in number four? So we will be uh, reading and also giving a possible answer for each um, agreement, okay? So that's what we had to do. In this moment, we will work in breakup rooms. Let me see, we are 17 right now. So we will be developing a small groups. Let's see, three, four members will be enough to me. Well, vamos a, a los breakup rooms. Um, is that clear? Está clara la indicación? Yes? Yes. yes. Excellent, thank you guys. Let's go. Y practiquen su respuesta de manera natural. Hagan las... Eh, Pregunte las 5, las 7, como uno dice, ¿verdad? Desordenadas para que usted tenga la capacidad de pensar rápidamente y decir, ah, hey, uh, I can stay Mexican food. Y usted responde de la manera natural, más rápida, para que usted se vaya acostumbrando a, a, a identificar lo que son los verbos cuando usamos am, cuando usamos el verbo en general o cuando usamos can. Ok, aceptamos la invitación and let's go.
¿Qué sería? Mide. Ok, vamos por la tercera. I think Mexican food is delicious. So do I. Oh, I do too. Creo que sería I do too. I think Mexican food is delicious. I do too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know too. Sería la otra. I don't. No, porque hoy dice que le gusta la comida mexicana. Ah, oh, bueno. Uh -huh. Piensa que la comida mexicana es deliciosa. Uh -huh. Creo que también podría ser yeah. neither do I. Creo, pero no sé. No, sería positivo. No, sería soy do I. Y I do too. I do too. Uh -huh. Y soy do I. Sí. Okay. I can not stand food. food. I can't either. Yes, I can either. Neither, neither. Um, neither can I va? Sí. Y de cinco, I don't like salty food. Sería... Sería, I don't like salty food. I don't either. Uh, or sí, yeah. neither I or neither do I. Do I? Mm -hmm. Sí. I don't. ¿O cuál es la otra? I don't either. Y la otra sería. Neither do I. Do I? I know la 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 seis la seis sería I know mm -hmm. either I in the move for no sería I am too cómo no sería I am too ah sí es cierto Mm -hmm. I the mood for some maintenance. I am too, entonces. Sí, I am too. Ajá, sí. Porque le gusta. Las siete, I am crazy about Korean food. Está loco por la comida. Ah, también sería I am food, ¿va? Las siete. Sí. I'm crazy about Korean food. Sí, I am too. I am too. I don't enjoy rich food very much. I no don't. I said, I don't. I don't. I don't. Sí, I don't either. I don't either, uh -huh. Night. I always got healthy food. So do I. Number five. I don't like the healthy food. Neither do I.
number four. Uh, I can stand greasy food. Um, neither I am. Number two. I can eat anything of food. Um, so do I. So I am, Seria, perdón. So I am. I am. Okay. Number one. I'm not crazy about French food. Later, I am. Number three. I think Mexican food is delicious. I am too. Number six, I'm in the mood for some type spicy. I do too. Yes. Number eight, I don't enjoy rice food very much. Um, neither do, do I. Okay. Number thing, I can eat bland food. Sorry, what number? Uh, number thing, I can eat bland bland food. Um, so will I. Yes. Vaya, ahora quién va. Ahora nos toca preguntarle a Cristian. No sé si Cristian nos escucha. Yo creo que no está. ¿Tiene apagado el micrófono? Sí, la cámara. No, no. Ajá, sí, ajá. Como yo le pregunté anteriormente a Elizabeth, ahora si quiere, hoy usted rompe el ciclo con, el, con Elena. Ok, ¿y por qué no nos vamos preguntando una por una para, para que practiquemos más todo? Ah, perfecto, como ustedes ah, digan. Muy bien. Este, a Dennis, la número uno. I am not crazy about French food. I am not eater. A Elena, eh, la número dos. I, I can eat any kind of food. So am I. Hoy usted pregunta a alguien más, Elena. Ah, yes, perdón. <risa> eh, number three. Uh, uh, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. I, I think Mexican food is delicious. I am too. Elena, number four. I can't stand racy food. Nere I am. Nere am I yes. Nere am I. Dennis. Yes. Le toca. <laughs> Pregunte. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, number five. I don't like salty food for Elena. Questions. Nere am I. Okay. Um, number six. Uh, uh, Adenis. Okay. I I in the mood for some type of spicy. I do too. Number seven for uh, Jocelyn is I'm I'm crazy about Korean food. So am I. Number eight for para Dennis. I don't enjoy rice rice food very much. Um, neither do I. Question for Elena. Number nine. I always can eat healthy food. So I am. Okay. 
La última. Eh, Okay, students, uh, we will continue with the exercises. Congratulations, because you have been practicing. I could see that you have been working in the in the respond equation, and that's one of the things that we need to focus, right? Uh, try to practice, try to work in activities. And, and this is a very valuable experience that we had to practice. And uh, we go step by step trying to memorize these structures, to work in, the, in ideas. So I think it's normal. It's normal what we are doing. Uh, we're going to work in the following exercise. Um, and I need your help. It says that you have to uh, look at this. One second. Uh, OK, look at this. It says that you have to complete a chart and then add more words to each category. We have meat, we have seafood, and also vegetarian. So you have to separate the, the dishes according to the category. Category meat, category seafood, and category vegetarian. So I want you to separate them. And if you want to add an extra a dish to the list, you can do it too. Ok, eh, les acabo de mandar esto por WhatsApp también, esta imagen, para que usted la busque por ahí, ya que vamos a pasar la asistencia. Y así usted separa eh, meat, seafood, que es comida eh, marina, es pues como nosotros le llamamos, the famous seafood, and also vegetarian, que es vegetariano. Así que vamos a pasar la asistencia. If you allow me one moment, please. And you listen your name and you say present. One second, please. Let's see. Wednesday, over here. Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Thanks. Uh, Blanca Elena Melara. Present. Uh, Christian uh, Salatier Molina. Present. Claudia Lisette Velázquez. Present, teacher. Ok. David Roberto Aquino. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, present, teacher. All right. Elena Gabriela Joven. I am here, teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda Isabel. Present, teacher. Present. Oh, you there. Okay, great. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Thanks. And Hector Ivan Perez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejia. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Kenia Vanessa. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco. Present. Thanks. María Elena Flores. Present, teacher. Thanks. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Rebeca eh, Jonel Hernández. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Vanessa Gabriela Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, 
Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Jessica. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so you can also check, you know, the the attendance list. All right, so could you add the, the information about the ingredients? Did you get the information? Do you separate it between the categories? Because we're talking about international dishes. Do you separate the words? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so help me with the following one. And uh, meat. In meat is beef curry, lamb kebabs, and chicken burrito. Oh, nice. The chicken burrito. Yeah, it's, I, I, love, I love the burritos. Yeah, are delicious. Okay, so those are related to meat. What about seafood, guys? And what do you have for seafood? Seafood. Uh, tuna sushi. Uh huh. Sweet and sour chip. Yes. Grilled salmon. Ah, grilled salmon. Yes. Yeah, the salmon is delicious. Okay, and also, what would you include in a vegetarian? Fried bananas. Ah, okay. Mushroom omelette. Mm -hmm. And a stir fried tofu. Fried tofu. Wow, I was, I was thinking about, you know, the fried bananas are delicious especially uh, for breakfast or even though for dinner in a typical in a typical breakfast or typical dinner you know it's uh, it's good i just want to uh, ask you guys what other dish would you like to include in meat think about other famous dish that you would like to include in meat think about it for meat Mm, for meat? Mm. A rabbit meat? Uh-huh. Egg. Yes? A or rabbit. Uh-huh. Could you repeat the, the answer, teacher? Uh, the question is, the question is, if if you would like to include another dish for meat, es decir, otro platillo, otro platillo que quieran agregar. Crab. Oh. In seafood, for example. Cocktail de conchitas, de camarones. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's a cocktail. Crab, crab soup, teacher. Okay. The crabs, you know. The, the... Okay. The, actually, the, the, the crabs are delicious. And also the famous shrimps, like the sweet and sour shrimp is delicious. And okay, it's another one that we can have in the list. And what about, yeah. yes, tell me. The octopus teacher. Ah, the octopus. Wow, this is a very exotic dish, right? It's like not so common. Uh, octopus. The 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 preparation. It's, very delicious. it's it's delicious? Yeah, it's delicious. I, yeah, I, yeah. Wow, I haven't tried, being honest. I, I haven't tried. But but yeah, it's I'm curious about this. Maybe later we can Think about it.
And what about vegetables? What would you like to include in vegetables? Espinacas. Ah, okay. Espinach. Espinach. Cucumber. Ah, uh, cucumbers. Like a salad. We're talking about salad. Okay. And the question that I would like to ask you is this one. Which dishes have you tried? Can you mention some dishes that you have tried from the list? Uh, beef curry, tuna sushi, uh, fried bananas, sweet and sour shrimp, grilled salmon, lambs, kebabs. So, which dishes have you tried? Yes. ¿Qué platillos han, ya han probado ustedes? Chicken burrito. Mm -hmm. Sweet and sour. Please. Mushroom omelet. Okay. Nice. Also, I recommend you guys to watch um, some other. And which one would you like to try? Which would you like to try? Um, lamb kebabs. Yes, lamb kebabs. Yes. Grilling salmon. Mm, oh, grilled salmon. Yes, it's, it's, it's awesome. So if you have access to watch in the internet, for example, look for in the internet the beef curry dish and you will see how delicious it looks. I haven't tried, but also it's very awesome to see the beef curry. So it's recommendable. So look for in the internet. Also the lamb kebabs. You can see the preparation that people have. Asian people, they prepare a lot. Those lambs keep up. So those are amazing. Have you tried the tuna sushi? Have you tried this food before? Yes, sir. Do, do, do you like it? Yes, I like it. Yes, I... I like it. Okay. All right. So, okay, guys. Well, I think that uh, we're about to finish this class, but I would like to ask you before, if you have a question or doubt, well, tomorrow we will continue working the, the, the rest of the exercises, but I just need to make sure that everything is clear. So do you have a question? No. Okay. No oh, no question. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, yes, tell me. What is the meaning? Agreement. Agreement. Sí. Agreement yes. is acuerdo. Is when you have the same opinion about something. Is es un acuerdo. Is agreement. Precious. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, students. Thank you so much for the time, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night and enjoy your night, and good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.